Hey, today is October 29th, right in the middle of spooky season. Halloween is two days away, as you can tell by my friend Austin here. And to be honest with you, I've never really liked Halloween. Halloween is filled with dolls and haunted... You know what, can we get some visuals in here, please? Ah, better. Halloween means dolls and haunted houses and scary faces, and to be honest with you, none of these really scare me. What I'm more scared of is the real stuff, like an accidental car crash, addiction by prescription pills, international violence, nuclear fallout ending the world as we know it, forest fires tearing away people's homes, and that the time we have left is increasingly shortening no matter what we do. But what I think I'm talking about there is just simply personal preference. What I'd really like to do is analyze why people like being scared at all. What is the draw of the horror genre? And I think I'll get closer to the answer by asking a more specific question like, why do you enjoy horror movies? To go further, I needed to ask around and see firsthand what people thought. And here's what people said. Oh. Hey, Ellie. Hello. Hey, I have a question. What's your question? First question is, will you help me go interview people? Yes, I will. Okay. Second question is, why do you if you do, enjoy horror movies. I enjoy the jump scare horror movies because of the adrenaline. It's a very fun feeling. Sure. Okay, let's go interview some people. What draws you to horror movies? Fear. <laughs> <laughs> the humor. Mm. <laughs> That's such a weird Interesting. answer. I like to be scared and I like the film um, quality. quality. Sure. We love it! Yes! <laughs> Go Kindle! I have a question. What's your question? Do you like horror movies? Yes. Yes. I absolutely like horror what? movies. What about them oh. makes you like them? The women that you're seeing with. Just shut up! Um, I it's just the answer. I think honestly for me, it's uh, a lot of the times they have really interesting and wacky ass stories. Like, oh you end up on some weird ass planet and now like your friend had some burst out of his chest and you have to save your cat from your ship that's going to blow up. Well, that's not like horror <laughs> Are you sci-fi. mentioning a specific movie? I Alien. am right now, yes. What movie is that? Alien. <laughs> so much they play they Resident Evil. So much thrill. <laughs> Why do you like horror movies? I do. What about them do you like? I like the suspense. I like the adrenaline rush. And the women that are in them. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, we can go with that. Sure. But, um, cool. It's just fun to get scared. Tell me, do you like horror movies? Absolutely. Horror movies are horror movies are my favorite kind of genre overall. I think you don't necessarily need to be afraid. To me, the horror horror is just about the tension and the build up and the atmosphere, just as much as it is about you actually being scared. In other words, to some degree. Not only is it about you being scared, but also about what you expect to be scared by. Hi. Do you like horror movies? No. Why not? They're scary. <laughs> you don't like being scared? Well, I mean, I don't know, they're kind of boring. Oh. Personally, I feel like they're predictable, but... But know. isn't scary a new and interesting feeling? No. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So the majority of those that we asked said something along the lines of that they just simply enjoyed the fear-induced adrenaline rush they got, the terrified feeling that made their heart rate spike. A few said that they enjoyed the plots themselves, only one watched solely for the actresses, and only, and only one didn't like horror movies at all, and that's super interesting. So the draw to horror over any other genre is the thrill of experiencing something scary. Interesting plots can be found in all genres, humor as well. What is specific to the draw of horror movies is the feeling of fear. What we watch elicits some kind of primitive fear response in our brains and a lot of us like that. But I wonder if we only enjoy that as long as the horrors we're watching aren't real for us. I mean, look at how lighthearted and humorous the people we were talking to were in these videos. <laughs> Humor. We love it! Yes! <laughs> Go Kindle! Um, okay. Interesting answer. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> they definitely don't seem to be afraid any longer. I mean, it's all jokes and laughs, and this gave me the idea. I would devise an experiment to test this very question. Do we only enjoy the fear present in Halloween-related activities as long as it's not serious? There's little weight to it. Might we only enjoy fear through stories that at any time we can walk away from, rather than real and present danger? To keep it interesting, I thought that I'd show some footage that I took of the experiment while I describe it. So, after some planning, I came up with this idea. I invited some friends and people I met around campus that day to tell scary stories with me at 7 p.m. in my room. So, I rented a camera from the Digital Media Center and placed it in the corner to record what happened. I would take my dorm room and transform it into a scene of public discourse. I covered the lights with shirts and used, used an orange glow for my LED lights to darken the room. I had scary music playing in the background and decorated a bit with some Halloween type decorations. Earlier that day, I sent out a bunch of texts to my friends and some people I barely even knew to see if they would come. And they sure did. After just a few minutes, my room was filled. By the end of the night, there were 19 people packed into a tiny dorm. So why invite almost 20 people into a dorm on Halloween night? Well, two reasons. First, I wanted to see if the lightheartedness captured in the interviews before was still apparent in my own manufactured space. Second, I wanted to see people's reactions if I took away the artificiality from ghost stories, if I grounded them in reality using real people's stories, real tragedy, and undeniable horror. I let 10 people share their own ghost stories. The subjects went from ghosts to aliens to skeletons, exactly what I would have predicted. You can see in people's faces that they're laughing and enjoying themselves, for good reason too. I mean, it is a holiday after all. But how long could they laugh for? Here it comes, my turn to speak, and... The video cut out. Right at the most pivotal, important part of my experiment, the video cut out. Super unfortunate, but as of right now, there's nothing we can do about it. So we're going to go to the next best option and look at my field notes that I took directly after. Here's what they say. So these are my field notes. I, one, had a video recording in my room, and then I took these directly after. This chunk right here, called pre, was everything that you saw in the recording before. What we're interested in is post. Um, so here's what I wrote. Silence. Awkward. On the flip side, I wrote, there were no laughs, no comments, barely any sounds. Um, it was tense. Um, and then after I thanked everybody for coming, they came up to me and left after thanking me and did other things Halloween related. Um, I wrote that it was absent of humor and in place of humor, it was solemn silence. Um, I could see a few nervous and uncomfortable people, um, indicated in like a shaking leg and fidgeting and looking around. All right, let's wrap this up. Here's a quick recap. I started off by declaring my distaste for Halloween. I don't care much for ghosts and ghouls. I prefer to think about the things that can really actually happen, like this awesome video of a big guy go boom boom. <laughs> my distaste led me to wonder what the draw to the horror genre was. I interviewed some people and got an overwhelming response that the draw to horror was the adrenaline rush, the anticipation, the primitive fight or flight that invokes fear in the participant. Then that evolved into the question, would we enjoy this feeling when we ground our fear-induced stories in the real world, into things that can and did happen? I know that not a lot of this video is spent focused on what those real scenarios really were. So quickly, they were stories of two little kids. One, a foster child from New York City who was abused by his alcoholic foster mother and sent to psychiatric care where he became addicted to prescription drugs. 
The second was the story of a little girl in war-torn Aleppo, Syria, who recounted a memory of walking past corpses and dead bodies on the street in her mother's arms, torn away from her friends and family. So, I organized a gathering to test this question, and the results were evident. Sadly, the video cut out, but if it didn't, you would see an undeniable tension in the room. You would see some people glancing around uncomfortably, fidgeting. Taking away the artificial absurdity of ghost stories made them all but enjoyable. I don't think anybody in the room would listen to stories like those for fun, as they would watch a horror movie or go to a haunted house. The biggest takeaway from this video for me is that the idea of fun can definitely be grounded in negative emotions, but those emotions have to come from something outside of reality. The interviews I conducted where everyone was all smiles show that horror is enjoyable under the conditions that is behind a screen recorded and fake. We can choose to be a part of that world or not, and that's the fun of it. Thanks. Hey, what's up? Just wanted to give a big shout out to Vitavo for supplying all of the free stock images in this video. Also, here and here are the links to Michael and Aaliyah's story if you want to read more. Um, I found both of those stories off of online and there's many, many more like them. Um, also, a big thank you to anybody involved in this video, whether you did an interview or you were so kindly came to my room on Halloween night to help me out with this. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Um, Chris with a camera is 